It looks yeah. like he's bringing a pretty good package yes. tonight. His, his legs is um, not quite as big as they used to be, but they're bigger than they were last year. So he looks very confident, and uh, that's a good victor. So for the record, Vic, Vic is 43 years old. He is a veteran of the Iron Game. He stands 5'9", weighs in at 246 lean pounds. Here's Ben Pakulski. Ben Pakulski looking, like, yeah. looking pretty lean. Well, Ben Pakulski is known for bringing the condition. He is well, very well known for his big quads and calves, Absolutely. of course. Look at those quads. And um, he looks like he downsized his upper body I mean, tremendously from before. He's looking very lean, but maybe a little bit smaller. He is absolutely small on top. Quads, I, I even if he loses some of the quads, they'll still be the, some of the biggest quads on stage. Absolutely. But he looks definitely leaner. That's another big boy right he there. He is Akeem very big. From New York, he qualified by winning, I thought, what show did he win? Was it Tampa Pro? I'm not sure right now. He indeed won the Tampa Pro. Yes, so he won the Tampa Pro. Look at his, look at his uh, shoulder to waist ratio. He's got a very tiny waist. What I'd like to see on Akeem though is to bring that dry, crisp condition. Because if he would bring that in, he would look much, much more Sergio impressive. Sergio Oliva victory pose yes. there. Yes. He, he's got like a Sergio Oliva shape, doesn't he? A small waist, a giant muscle bellies. Well, what you can see on Akeem is that his size is not coming because he's genetically tremendous amount of size. And it's so much size in this past year. Unbelievable. Wow. And, and think about it. He's nothing but he just turned 25, 25 years old. He has so many years ahead of him. And he, he's he won the Phoenix Pro, qualified for this year's Olympia. And I remember I remember watching him last year. He was super, super grainy and dry, and he milked every pose. And let's see what he looks like now. He is not super to, dry. Yes, 10 to 12 pounds heavier, and sometimes bigger is not always better. Right. Which is funny to hear when you're talking about DJ right, and I here are we in have Cedric. This is uh, here is Cedric. one of the athletes everybody's waiting for. Talk to us about Cedric. Cedric is the man that I've said if he nails the condition, he can upset the whole whole lineup. Did he now, nail the condition? Let's see. He's got to hit some shots. Beautiful lines, as you can see. Looks very confident to me this time. Even in the press conference, he was very, very um, vocal. He was, yes, yes. You know? He's normally reserved and quiet, but he had a lot yes. to say a couple almost, of days ago. Almost, some, almost too shy sometimes. You know? He had He's the best rookie season of any of the rookies in the past 15 years, I would say, if not longer. Josh is a serious contender for a very good spot here in Australia. And uh, look at him. He is absolutely massive. He's, look at him. Dry. His abs is, look at that. He really is conditioned. Yes, isn't he, he is in really good condition. And he means business. And I know there's, uh, there's a lot of people in Australia, and especially one person that I know is watching it right now. <laughs> That's a big hi to Australia. Greetings, Australia. Yes. This is an international competition people we are representing and here. And I know people down under rooting for this man right now, and he knows it. Very impressive. That, we, that, that came in from down under. Here we got Michael Lockett. Michael Lockett up next. This is Isn't he? And you know what? He's always in shape. I don't, I've never seen Michael coming off. His glutes detailed, most striated in the whole entire show. And, and, you know, at one point, I don't know about now, he used to just live on, like, gummy bears and stuff. Well, like I don't know about that, but I'll tell you this much. Whatever it is. This man in the contest. Well, and, you know, for, for sure the biggest <laughs> arms. <laughs> yes, the biggest <laughs> arms. Fence. He's going to start with the front double biceps. Wow. Just to show off wow. his arms. <laughs> yes, that's, that's it right there. Look at those arms, folks. Have okay. you ever seen anything like that before? He, he put on a, a lot of, I mean, tremendous amount of size. Maybe he wasn't even, always was knocked down for not bringing the condition. Let's see what we see off him today. He may have brought it tonight, DJ. It looks tight. The skin looks good. Looks a lot better than last year. I think he's got some good conditioning. I'll, I, I want to see his chest when he starts hitting shots with his arms together because he was always a little flat in the pecs, but let's get a good look. Legs definitely are not a weak point for Steve. No, Kukla. they're not a weak point. They could be a little bit deeper separate. Brandon Curry.
The prodigy, Brandon Curry. Has a perfect symmetry. He's got beautiful shape. He's got problems with the condition. Small waist. Great V taper. Yes. But for the Olympic stage, I think his condition is still not quite there, especially in the quads. You can still see, because if the quads, if the separation would be deeper, the quads would last twice. He was able to compete mm -hmm. the last two years. He said, you know what, I'm going to get it right. I'm going to take That's my time. Another, another young man who has unbelievable potential, and he has some, some really, really, really crazy body parts. Look at the quad sweep. Look at the biceps. He's got a small waist. Yeah, what a V-taper. Yes. Only 28 years old and yeah. another young competitor. Yeah. Now compare the legs from Justin to, to, uh, to uh, yeah, Brandon Justin's before. legs Can are you see incredible. what I'm talking about? Yes. Oh, look at the hamstrings. Yep. Hey, the calves. Yeah, everybody's another waiting for Yes. Because he had an unbelievable rookie season. And I can already see here that his condition is unbelievable. I see you it as well, You can see well, the skin is see-through. He has so much potential. He's going to do so well in the future. And he's going to do well wow. today. What an Olympia debut for Nathan Dash. That's what you want to do. Just like, yeah, look at him. Look He's, at that. Great V taper, peaked biceps, great conditioning. But we wait. Everybody was waiting for it. He is called Big Rami for good reason. We all know he's going to look awesome and great from the front. We got to wait till he turns around. See the conditioning. He is a big, big man. Oh, yeah. We know him well, DJ. I can tell he's smaller than he usually is. He's not as big as he was last year, but he looks already more conditioned than last cheeks. year. Look at his cheeks. Look how sunken in his cheeks yes. are. He's got a, a new nutritionist, doesn't he? He's working with Chris Aceto now, so he's uh, you know, worked with everybody, but it, I don't think it was so much of the, 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 the trainer. I think it's the time that he needed. He's his got legs the cuts are, in the quads, his, his legs he? are way more separated. He was always critiqued for that. You need to see him from the back. But this is a new Rami we're looking at. Well, it, it's not a new Rami. It's just a better Rami. You know what I mean? A better it, Rami. It's, it's, it's a little bit smaller, but smaller doesn't mean you're not, not good enough. Thick. Because, uh, yeah, he's got so much muscle. When you look at this guy right now, I think he packs on the most muscle of anybody in the stage. Yeah, because he's not a tall frame. guy, but no, man, does he have a lot of look at And he brought that Chris condition last year, and I, last year, and I can already see he brought that Chris he condition sure did. back. He is so far, I, by just one shot, I'll tell you right now, the best condition guy on that stage. And he has the size, so he will play very well. His trainer, Neil Hill, told me earlier today, wait till you see William on I'm, stage. I'm telling you right now, he had three shots so far. I'm telling you, he is. that's the best guy so far that came out. He's not missing anything, is he, Not DJ? enough, if not better. Skin looks paper thin just from walking, I can tell. I see the veins. Yeah. Hopefully he has everything under control. What is your... Jay? S super tiny waist. Sweetest physique. Flex Wheeler is a legend who competed yes. throughout the 90s. And his quads. He's got crazy, huge quads with very deep separation. Yeah. Again, I don't see his abs like they used to be. Super tight, super small. It looks again like he's not, you know, when he's controlling it, you can see right now he's controlling it. It looks very good. He's winning this show today. 2008 Mr. Olympia. 47 years old. Second last year, 47 years old. Me and Dex, we go back to 98. We turned pro the same year. You know what I mean? So and he's you're still on the other there. side now. He's still out there <laughs> still fighting out with there. the best of the best. Look and at Dex. he looks great. Awesome. We already know Dex's condition, so we don't have to worry about what his condition looks like. We just got to see um, what his overall package is. And I can see he brought his legs. His legs is fuller than they were they a big. couple of years ago. You know what I mean? He's not the biggest guy, but he also creates so much of an illusion because of his condition that he doesn't have to be 250 pounds. Dex could be 225 or 230. And so Standing time. on the Olympia stage. Yes. Um, I'm proud of to come out and look like this. For me, I can already see the legs are undersized. I didn't think it was possible to get the legs back after so many years. Legs are you know the first I mean? to go, aren't yes. they? So it's, it's not Kevin from what we remember. Because right. I know Kevin no better than anybody. Kevin's because, played second in this guy yes, several times. Yes. But it's a good Kevin for 52 years old. And I'm proud of 
He has five times in a row. Can he make it six? We'll see in a minute. Skin is tight. Skin he does is look super good. thin. He looks super confident, oh, but he always looks confident. He does. He enjoys himself out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good Phil feel right is looking there. pretty good. So this is your five-time defending Mr. Olympia. Phil the Gift Heath. Yes. We'll have to see when he stands next to the other guys, when these guys start posing next to each other. That's when people try to, you know, expose flaws and others and weaknesses. And Victor, and look at Dallas standing here and, and next to, to um, and please welcome your head judge, Mr. Steve Weinberg. There you go. Thank you, Bob. Gentlemen, quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn. Victor's upper body is back to where it used to be. It really is. Mm -hmm. It's nice to see him back on stage looking like yes. that. Quarter turn to the look right. Look how big Dallas is, though. Yeah, and look at, height, and look, at, look at him standing next to Akeem, who is huge. Akeem is huge. But then you can see the, the, right. the difference in condition. Akeem's skin looks a little thicker, perhaps, exactly. a little more water. Exactly. It's just a thicker Face skin, front. and that makes you look like you're holding more water. Victor's always front had beautiful skin, so. So uh, this is the first five competitors. This isn't placings. This isn't yeah, call-outs. This is not a call-out, no. Sure, it's for the sure. future, yes. Agreed. Sometimes you got to stand in line and let the old guys leave. <laughs> to make, you know, the free to, you know. I wouldn't to, know about an yeah, old guy. So you leave, leave the door open for Your you to walk through. Your favorite, most muscular. <laughs> yeah, Vic is by no means done yet. Victor We've seen good. him on the stage so you many see how, times. You see how this guy starts stepping forward now to gain some size on the others? This is an old trick, you know, step forward. You'll watch so, Kevin Lerone do that later. He will step forward. And is that what he used to do with yes. you guys back in the day? That's, what you. that's <laughs> what you do when you want to gain size. One step gentlemen, forward brings 10, 15 left, pounds on you. Gentlemen, quarter turn to the right. Uh, hold it, hold, hold, hold it in, hold right. it in. Yeah. You're referring to his midsection. Yes. Because it's, 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 it's tight when he's holding it in. So you've got to hold it in. You only have this time to show yourself. Quarter turn to the right. Yeah. Wow, this is a tough one, isn't it? Cedric looks good, though. Cedric has that tiny waist. Yeah, he has that classic physique. Look at that. And he's in shape. And, he's, and he knows Face it. Front. It really does harken back to the old yeah. days of bodybuilding. The but Lee Haney type physique. But you see that, 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 that grainy, that, that, front that double Josh, has Josh stands there from the front. He doesn't even have to flex. He looks so hard. But these five guys can pair well against each well, other. Well, I, I, I pick out three, but midsection. Donald you know, sometimes five. carbon up too much is not really good. He's bloated, in essence, well, possibly. Yeah, it's maybe not bloated, but, you know, if you don't control it, if you don't hold it in, it's going to stick out. But that's a risk of having carbs, having a lot yeah, of carbs. Yeah, you need to have carbs, carbs you need to get that full round muscle. To get the vascularity. You see, how, you see how they're stepping forward now? Yep. They're all taking advantage of yeah. them, except um, the rookie, Josh. If I had to, yeah, Josh. He's standing on the line. All right, thank you, gentlemen. Stage left, please. You're always good for it, yes. DJ. Thank we you. know how hard they work. We'll say right. that blanket statement. Every one of these yeah, guys killed the first Look how Nathan stands right next to um, Justin Compton. He, he does. And Romney. Watch this. Quarter turn Look to at, the right. You see, you see, um, you see how big uh, William stands next to Romney? Next Rami? to Romney. I'm telling you, William is the biggest guy, pound for bigger arms than Romney. And I know Romney. So his arms usually, they stand out. But when you go for conditions, I'm Nathan Dash. It. I don't know. I kind of my eyes brought it. Now, the most I, muscular, they can do their own variation. Yeah. What I realize is, especially with Ronnie now, is that what he what was his. Thank you, gentlemen. He stood out size-wise right, so much next to everybody else. Stage. That's not happening. I mean, like a year and a half ago, he sent me a text and asked me out of nowhere if I would be 100%. Could I stand next to Phil? He's standing next to Phil right here. He's not 100% right? though, is he, DJ? There's no way he could be 100%. But if he was 100% back like 96, oh, he would, he he would right. walk away with that show with three <laughs> it would, shots. It would be a good yes, show. Yes, yes. It, it would be a Kevin LeBron show, trust me. <laughs> And I'm, that's not a knock on Phil, but the Kevin in 96 was unbelievable. Quarter turn to the right. But there you can see Kevin gets exposed in his quads yes. in the back department. Yeah. You know what I mean? We all know Kevin had arms, shoulders, and, and, and chest. 
He but did. He, yeah. he was something. Oh, 20 yeah. years ago. He can, he can come back at 60. He would still have that. Front double bicep. But right now, it's between Phil and Dexter and Sean. And that lineup, yeah. We'll have to wait for the first call out. It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting. But the three top guys from last year all brought it. Like this, yeah. We do love surprises at the Olympia. Side chest. Kevin would look so much better if his legs would be better. If his legs would... Matches upper it's body. It's true. He still has that shape. His upper body is holding his own here too, but his legs they're so far off. And can you imagine that? It's just, that? It just doesn't look right. Holding his upper body after not competing, not really Back training for 13 bicep. years. Yeah, and then and coming. Only no, six months. That's right. There's nobody else that could do that. I couldn't do that. Went from nobody. nothing to this in six months. You see, Kevin, veteran, he's trying to step, he's stepping back. That's what Kevin does. Adding a few pounds to the judge's eyes, perhaps. But hey, that's the name of the game. So, still got the detail in the back. It's the detail. But look at Phil. Look at Dex. Look at Sean. Oh yeah. Oh man. Five years older than Dex, the next to him, but Dex will never stop training. Dex has been competing this all this for, time. Yeah, exactly. It's mighty impressive. And I think Kevin indicated. Um, well, I, I, his he, leg's not going to come back. It's not happening. I don't care what nobody says. 52, the legs are gone. But your legs are gone at 40. When your legs are gone, think about it. Kevin's legs were gone. It's mighty impressive. And I think Kevin indicated. His last Olympia was the 2003. And yeah, he was not for his legs. So, no. so they're not coming back. They already did look better than I thought they would look, to be perfectly honest. But, on. but, the ab and but thigh still, pose. Kevin is the man in my eyes. I don't care what nobody says. He's a he's legend. He's out there. He's doing it. I didn't think he was going to get on stage. I really didn't believe he was. But he's out there and he's doing muscular. it. Kevin had to get a special invite. Look at Phil. Phil is just like, look at, he looks like 3D. Phil's hardening as, as yeah. this posing goes on. He's I, actually losing water. He's getting drier and more pumped. It's looking very good, very yes. strong. Thank you, gentlemen. We can see a, a, we can see right here Dexter next to Sean. All right, thank you, gentlemen. That's a little indication. Please. Give me a chance. He asks for oh, it. Oh, there's Josh enjoying. Oh, look at that. Fun. Goofing around a little bit. It's good. Josh doesn't seem too nervous for his debut at the Olympia. Sometimes. sometimes Competitor some... nine, Rowley. Okay. First 14, call. Ronnie. 15, William. They are not making the first call out. 16, is... Sean. 17, Dexter. What did I tell you? They're 18, gonna, Phil. They're going to call how many? Hey. And he called him not in numerical order. Steve likes to do so. Steve likes to keep us on our toes. But my surprise prediction was Bonac. I was going to tell you. They're going to have to call Bonac. You're, and they did. You're right. Yep. They're going to have to call Bonac. This man has a right now to fight his way to a spot where nobody thought he would place. Because when you look at all these guys right now, don't know Phil anybody. Switch. Oh, don't take everybody's head off and put a neutral head on everybody's body. Who would be the most impressive guy? Think about it. So if there's no favoritism, if you don't know Phil's the reigning champ, or Rami's there's the biggest guy, switch. you just look at their bodies. I'm just saying, if nobody would have a head on their Sean shoulders Rami right now, switch. who would have the most impressive body or the, the two most impressive bodies? Well, let's bodies. try to look at it that way. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of our audience, this may be their first time seeing oh, Olympia, so they may be able that. to judge right. that way. So. So here we go. The first pose of the first call out, the 2016 Mr. Olympia. Ruley Winkler hits it first. Yep. They move Ruley out. They position them in, uh, really? in a way where you can almost, almost um, see what's going on. Don't we? Well, we have, well, yeah. Well, Does that of. mean anything at this yeah. point? No, we'll see what happens after they finish these mandatory poses. But the way it looks to me right now is if we go by Phil, Sean, and Dexter, then we have Rami and Back William, which means to, my, to me, if I don't have to judge it by this card right. out right here, that this is six people that will be, that Rowley will be in sixth place right now. Interesting. And so on and so on. I could basically tell you what I'm seeing, but... It doesn't mean anything because Steve might move in. Steve, so Steve, yeah. head judge Steve Weinberger is yes. well known for keeping the fans and but, us on our toes. But right Bad here, you friend. can see 
who's standing next to who and you know to so we have an idea and close a comparison without really having them next to each other got it and william is absolutely impressive so it's dexter and so it's I mean, it's not that huge. He's not dominating. He's not right? that dominating force in size wise right. anymore. Right. And his condition is still not as crisp as some of these other guys. So now, wasn't it a better thing to come in smaller and drier? Or would it have been better to be right now be a little bit bigger and more dominant? And maybe it, you never know. We'll I think tomorrow night happens. we'll know. Tomorrow night oh, when we get the final place we'll and the finals. We'll, I think we'll know tonight. For the last call out, we'll know way more. But we can speculate now all we want because things can happen. That's true. Dexter's having fun, the vet. Yeah. Your favorite most muscular. The stomach in, right? Yes, yep. he's relaxing now. You don't do it. This is this is your chance. We know that they will be judged down yes. for this is your bellies. shot. Now you can they, they can give you the favorite you now and you can mess up and then move you back out. It can happen real fast. Thank you, gentlemen. Back in line. Okay. To move in there right now. Because this is a second chance. This is, I mean, Roy. Roy. Hold on. They want to give a closer look. Or it could be Steve once again keeping us guessing. Well, which is absolutely his right to do. Absolutely. As the head. The guys to guess, too. We don't want the guys to know. That's right. Place. That's right. Front double bicep. It's too predictable for I him. have a feeling that Rami's arms is just way smaller than they usually are, especially here in his front double biceps. You know what I mean? Condition Rami, though, you know, but the problem is. So if you guys watch down there in Australia, this is... Uh, Good day. This is DJ the Menace saying, these guys are fighting. You can see they're sweating right now. So I, feel, I, feel, I feel a little for Dayton because... Uh, he literally looked like he had, he's going to have a real good um, pro debut, but, yeah. It's fun to speculate. It is. And, you know, the fact of the matter is, there are a lot of guys ha up here who have the potential to beat Phil. It's all the shape. But and the he, potential, he can, you have to. Condition. You, you can't just, you know, show up and win. you got to have Potential to doesn't win contests, correct. You have to earn it. You have to, you have to, this is, you don't, it's not over yet. I mean, Sean Bowden looked great. Yeah. They're going to have to. Let me give him a call right now and put Sean next to him. It's going Thank to happen. Thank you, gentlemen. I still like Nathan. Now look at Nathan, the, the young guy next to Kevin. The whole bicep. Yeah. This is what Kevin used to look like. Yeah. When you look at Nathan.
And of course, two seats next to him, Franco Colombo. Here we go. The judges have made their selections. Melissa Rubina from Ultimate Nutrition on stage. She will present the fifth place award, the check for $45,000 to your fifth place finisher, William Bonak. William Bonak takes fifth place at the 2016 Olympia. What do you think, DJ? Yeah, I thought there, uh, you know, I thought I had a, could have been as high as fourth, but like I said, things can change, and I think some things, things change tonight. And uh, He made the top five, though, by far yeah. his highest placing. Yesterday, I was almost positive that uh, Phil, Dex, and Sean will be top three. Big Rami Mamdoa. Okay, Elsby. so it's still what I thought. Big Rami in four. Uh, a few boos from the crowd. Always a controversial decision at this yeah, level. Yeah, well, you know, because the crowd was thrown off for and Steve putting Rami next to uh, Phil. So Some of they, the comparisons yeah, earlier. So immediately they thought that he moving up in second or third, which was, uh, you know, it looked like it. But this is a fair, fair placing for Rami, and I think that this is okay fourth place for him right now. The Blade, Dexter oh, Jackson. Okay, so. Last year's runner-up, 2008 Mr. Olympia, Dexter Jackson third takes place. third here in 2016. I know Dexter is probably disappointed because it close both nights, or All do you right, think, think you. Sean closed the gap tonight? I think that, I think, I don't know, because I think Dexter looked better tonight. I believe that he, he thought that, you know, he was fighting Dex for, for second, so he already achieved what, because he knows, he, I don't think he thought that he's going to come here tonight and he's challenged to fill. These are the two best bodybuilders on the planet. And the title of 2016, Mr. Olympia. Six in a row, tying Dorian Yates. Deservingly six-time Mr. Olympia. And I don't think anybody would have a problem with that decision tonight. Phil King, he delivered. He Won shut it going the door, away. And it's going to go. Six-time Mr. Olympia. That puts you in some elite company, my friend, with the likes of Dorian Yates. You're six in a row. Fill your thoughts right now. Man, I am just so freaking excited. Thank you all for coming out. I really appreciate all the support. Ultimate Nutrition, thank you so much for believing me. Thank you, my family, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, Cherise, over there. Thank you so much. And I can't forget God. Thank you, God for providing me this opportunity to be able to do this. I never knew I was going to be a bodybuilder, but damn it, I, I love every minute of it. This is awesome. Can't say it any better than that. Ladies and gentlemen, your six-time Olympia champion, the gift, Phil Heath. Yes. Embrace the moment, Phil. He came, he saw, he conquered. Incredible six sandals for Phil, the gift, Heath.
For everybody here at AMI and the Olympia, for Robin Chang and the production we'll committee. Bring out like all the Olympic champions from this weekend now at the end. Good night, everybody. That looks like it.